Hi, my name is Bill Toon and I'm the director of the Ecolife Foundation. We want to tell you a little bit about aquaponics, which is the marriage of growing fish and growing vegetables in a closed system. What we're talking about here is a rural aquaponic system. This is designed for economically disadvantaged communities. So what we've tried to do is build it with very inexpensive materials that are available everywhere. Some 55 gallon food grade barrels, some downspout off of a house, a bunch of stones, some seeds for the plants, some fish, and a pump, and we're ready to go out and feed the world. For our system, we're going to connect four barrels using commonly available PVC pipe and fittings. These are blue food grade barrels. They're lightweight, inexpensive, they last a long time, and because they were made for food and had food in them, we don't have to worry about a lot of contaminants in with the fish. The fish we've chosen to work with are tilapia. You can use almost any freshwater fish. Tilapia are also a great choice because they're hardy and tolerant of a wide variety of water conditions. They're omnivorous, feeding mostly on plants, which makes it more sustainable and easier on us because we don't have to feed them other fish. They breed really easily, they work well in barrels, they grow fast, and best of all, people like to eat them. The waste from the fish is rich in nitrogen. And what that means is that we want to grow a lot of green leafy plants who just love nitrogen-rich water. So that means things like basil, chard, lettuce, spinach, and a whole variety of other things. All of them really good to eat. We've had great results with Swiss chard going from seed to harvest in four weeks or less. For growing our plants, we've chosen to use downspout. This is just standard downspout off of a house. We drilled holes in it. It's durable, lightweight, and best of all, it's cheap. Okay, so this downspout's three inches across, and so is our little basket for plants. So we're gonna actually have to do a two and three quarter inch hole so that we don't erode the sides of this thing and make it leak. Let's center those holes five inches apart. I'm going to put um, some silicone sealant around the end of this and essentially put an elbow on it. And that elbow will serve to stop water from running out of the pipe, allowing it to fill up around the seed pots. For our system here, we use a Leica pellet. It's an expanded clay pellet, and we like them because they create a lot of surface area. And that surface area is essential for growing colonies of bacteria that convert the waste from the fish into nutrients for the plants. For starting our seeds, we use a really simple wicking system using paper towel as our wick. We set it into the cup like this, add a small layer of the clay pellets, and then fold the wick over. To make sure we don't lose our seeds, we dampen the cloth, sprinkle the seeds on, cover with a layer of clay pellets, and we're ready to stick it into the system. So to make use of the downspout, we drill a three inch hole in it, and we put in these little net pots. The net pots let the water seep through to the substrate, and the plant's roots can go through it to pick up the nutrients from the water, and they do really well. Moving the water is absolutely essential. It has to go from the fish through the substrate there where the bacteria can break down the nitrogen products. It's gotta be moved to the plants. And once the plants remove the pollutants from the water, it's all gotta come right back to the fish. One of our barrels is devoted to biological filtration. This pump circulates the water amongst the barrels, pulling it through this biological filter media. We use two different systems to water our plants. This side of our system is a nutrient flow system. This is the most common system in a big commercial hydroponic setup. And that is that the water is pumped into this barrel, there's an overflow, and it just trickles continuously underneath these plants, allowing the roots to take nutrients out of it as it goes by. On this side, we're using a bell siphon to create an ebb and flow effect with the water. What that does is it gets a big blast of water onto the plants and then it goes away. I personally like it for backyard systems and I like it for germinating seeds. So the system's looking great. There's a few things we got to check on a regular basis. For our channel system, I check the roots from time to time to make sure they're not blocking the water flow. The tilapia that we're raising are tropical fish. They like warm water. We keep the water warm with a titanium water heater on a thermostat. 
I use a master freshwater test kit to test for various aspects of water quality. The great thing about aquaponics is that it's adaptable to any scale, from an industrial system to a backyard system to a small desktop system like this. Our system's been up and operating for a couple of months now. The signs of a healthy system are clean water, healthy fish, and growing plants. The nice thing is your plants get a head start on the fish, so we've had several harvests of greens already and had some wonderful salads and basil pesto. The fish have gone from tiny fry to over a pound now, and soon they'll be ready for harvest as well. A simple system like this can bring much needed nutrients to developing communities. We hope you'll follow the work of the Ecolife Foundation and consider supporting us in the near future. Thanks for watching.